All right, let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Vyond. Now, the growing Chinese aggression in the region has reportedly worried Japan and has now led to a potential sort of a hardening of stance in terms of how Japan pursues its defense sector. Now, according to reports that are now circulating in the Japanese media, the country is in the final stages of sealing a deal with the United States to purchase its Tomahawk cruise missiles. The Tomahawk missiles were most recently used by the United States Navy in the 2018 missile strikes against Syria. 66 of these missiles were launched, targeting what the Americans claimed were chemical weapons facilities within the Syrian territory. These cruise missiles can in fact hit targets from more than a thousand kilometers away and that puts parts of China and also Russia's far east within the range of Japan. The reports over the U.S.-Japan deal emerged at a time when Tokyo is in fact seeking its biggest arms build-up since the end of the Second World War. Now, in the face of Beijing's rapid military modernization and also increased activity in nearby waters. The concerns over the Chinese military activity in the seas and the skies around Taiwan and Japan have intensified since Russia invaded into Ukraine in February, as it provides China with a precedent for the use of force against Taiwan. Now, in addition to this, angered by the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, China in the month of August had fired missiles into waters less than 160 kilometers from Japan in a display of might. Moreover, during the 20th Communist Party Congress last week, the Chinese leader Xi Jinping had called for accelerating plans to build a world-class military, reiterating China's stand on Taiwan. He had said that his country would never renounce the right to use force to resolve the Taiwanese issue. For Japan, losing access around its areas and also the acquisition of Taiwan by mainland China would be extremely troublesome because this could potentially jeopardize key shipping lanes that supply nearly all of Japan's oil and many of the materials that it uses in its manufacturing sector. It would also give the Chinese Navy unfettered access to the Western Pacific Ocean from bases on the island. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.